hide all people here. Now I realize I've been doing a lot of videos on Wichita lately, uh, and I'm I'm trying to change that. And I have a few Shao Martels up this my sleeve, but uh, uh, as it is right now, Wichita is just the best cruiser to uh, take out at tier seven, and um, I uh, I really enjoy it too. So I, it's hard not to play it. <laughs> the main reason I take it out most of the times when I play this game is that it uh, it handles legendaries really really well. Um, Compared to something like Atago or, uh, well, pretty much any other tier 7 cruiser, except for Prince Eugen and Hipper, they also do really well against legendaries. Uh, but we should test the king, no, uh, no doubt about it. Uh, even though compared to Alaska, which is a legendary cruiser itself, I would much rather be in, uh, in Wichita in any, in any legendary battle, that's for sure. Now in the the meta these days is really hard to get uh, within torp range of pretty much anything anymore. So the torp equipped cruisers they are they're having a hard time, especially at Targo. Uh, I think where pretty much half your damage potential is relying on the use of your torps. Uh, and if you're playing against like a team that's reasonable and know knows pretty well what they're doing, then it's it's difficult to. Uh, to do well in the uh, in the other cruisers now, so I don't know if more gaming has a plan for it or something. But as it is now, there's just nothing beats Wichita at all, in my opinion. It's just so good, uh, and that includes Cleveland. Cleveland is is good, but it's a completely different playstyle. I mean, I have been playing around with it myself with an agile build, and it just doesn't work. Cleveland is a uh, it's a ship, you sit behind an island and you spam HE. And that's about it. And, you know, I, if you follow my channel, you know I don't really like that that kind of gameplay. I think it's really boring. Uh, like, I prefer to be on the move and out being part of the action and like doing some cool stuff instead of just sitting behind an island for 15 minutes and shooting HE. I mean that's it's boring for me and I would imagine it would be pretty boring to watch also uh, as a video. I mean I would find it pretty boring. <laughs> anyway let's get into the battle here. We're well ahead. We are almost done capping and we have just caught this Yudachi here off guard and uh, been able to radar him and then sonar him into submission. And here I take a salvo from one of those uh, Clevelands I was talking about earlier. And it just shows you uh, how tough Wichita is. And that's one of the points I want to get through with this video here. That it can it can really take a beating. I think it takes a beating better than even the German cruisers. And one of their main selling points is that they're so tough. But wow, Wichita is just, uh, it's a tough nut to crack. Now this tough armor and of course the great maneuverability makes uh, Wichita so great, especially in uh, in legendary battles, like I said before, because it doesn't really matter how much armor you have on your cruiser, uh, a Yamato or a Grosso Kurfürst will be able to citadel you pretty much no matter what you do. So the only option you have is to either play the Cleveland game and sit behind an island and hope someone else spots for you, or uh, in my opinion, play the agile game and get out there in open water and uh, just fire away and wiggle your butt around as much as you can to uh, to get some damage in and, and uh, troll the, the legendaries at the same time. And uh, like there's only really three cruisers I would take out in the current meta. Uh, well, four actually, but uh, one of them is obviously um, Wichita, and then there is uh, Prince Eugen and Hippa, and I kind of kind count them as the same cruiser. And then there's Charles Martel, and then there's Cleveland. Those are the ones that uh, will do well on maps with lots of legendaries like this one. Uh, I 
that Targo seems to be having a pretty rough time at the moment, and the same with Mogami. Um, uh, so I don't really, I don't really play it much anymore. Um, the game seems to have moved on, so we'll see, and we'll see what happens later down the down the track. Maybe later when there's less cruisers on the opposing teams, then uh, maybe I'll take out Targo again. But as it is now, it's not. Uh, it's not doing so well. Not that it's not doing well, but it's just it doesn't have the radar that Wichita does, and that's really a hard thing to uh, to be without now. I think I'm got, I'm got I've gotten used to it. <laughs> so anyway, here we are duking it out with a Yamato, and uh, as a tier seven cruiser, that's quite a risky proposition. Uh, one shell, and you're pretty much done for. So that's why. The way I play it is, I take the agile thing to the extremes here, and right now I'm doing a little, what should we call it, T-ball shuffle, I think it's known as. Just, uh, well, kind of cheating here. Throwing off his aim using the the end of the map, but on the other hand, like, it's, it's a little bit unfair with this stupid end of the map here. I mean, it, uh, it really is to the detriment of my cruiser playstyle when I run into the, the end of the map. Anyway, he's still on to us, so we're, we're not detected right now, so we'll just wait for the right moment to fire at him again. And now he's on to us again. Nope, not him, someone else apparently. Anyway, we'll just keep firing at him. Now, if you notice, this uh, Wichita here takes a lot of stray bullets, well, stray salvos from uh, here's one coming in from this Bismarck over here, I think, and it just shrugs them off, kind of like a Targo. Uh, if this was Martel, then any tiny little bullet fragment from anything larger than a uh, a tier six would uh, citadel you pretty much. So. It's one of the reasons that, like I've, like I've been saying a lot in this video, that I play Wichita a lot now. It's just so tough. Uh, you can make mistakes and you don't get punished completely for them in Wichita. If, like before, if I had, like I said, been in Charles Martel and I had let that stray Bismarck bullet hit me, I would have been down 80% of my health or something like that. And Wichita just shrugs it off. There are like opinions, like ah, uh, is Wichita a little bit overpowered or isn't it? And I think when it came out, yes, it was definitely overpowered. I think so. There was just nothing that could match it. And still, now it's a powerful cruiser, but uh, now that we're facing legendaries a lot, mm, I don't think it's that uh, much of an overpowered beast anymore. I don't think it's overpowered anymore. I think it's powerful, yes. Uh, but like in a legendary match, uh, this is the cruiser I want to be in for now. Until we get a better legendary cruiser than Alaska, I'm really disappointed in that one. It's uh, to me, it's just a uh, a tier five battleship with a fast rudder. That's what it is. And uh, if you want to be in a legendary battle in a tier five battleship, you let me know. But I don't want to. I don't like that. So I will pick Wichita over Alaska any day. Especially for the fact that Wichita can deal with destroyers on its own uh, with the 8 second reload. Like um, Alaska has a 20 second reload. So <laughs> when you use your radar, you'll be able to get off one salvo. Perhaps two if you time it perfectly and you have all the all the reload boosts on the ship, but it's just, it's not a very good ship in my opinion. At least not as a cruiser. It, it has its uses as a kind of uh, like an oversized Baltimore to uh, to stop enemies at choke points and like just being kind of a like annoying, but. 
I don't I don't think it's good. I'm pretty disappointed in this. I'm really looking forward to maybe a Japanese cruiser or something next time for the the bureau. Anyway, now this Amaji here took out our Kurfürst, and we have reached 113,000 damage here. I've mostly been fighting battleships in this battle because there aren't many cruisers. There's only one Cleveland, and as soon as I shot at him, he ran away. So I couldn't really chase him down because he ran into all his other battleships. So I really didn't have a choice but to take them on. So now we've got 122,000 damage and still no high caliber. So there's a lot of hit points in this game with all the legendaries in it. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, fair game. Like we're both down to three ships on each side, and nobody's playing like crazy or completely like headless or anything like that. It's a quite quite a good game, and I like this map here, Crash Zone. I think it's my favorite map. It's nice and open, and there's not many places for the battleships to hide, or anyone to hide for that matter. As you know, I like open maps with lots of water. See there? <laughs> By the way, we just took probably two or three salvos from that Bismarck. Right midships somewhere. And nothing seemed to happen. Should I have been Citadel there? Probably. I think I should have, but I didn't even take pretty much any damage. So now we'll just squeeze under this salvo here while we keep punishing him with the uh, with HE. Probably pretty annoyed now. <laughs> so now it's just me and a battleship left on our team. And we are ahead on points, which is good. So it's just a matter of dragging out time now and see what circumstantial damage we can we might be able to get on the way as well. And although which it is tough. It's always better to fit in between the salvos like I do now. Very well timed here. Just getting in between the two there. Not taking any damage. That's why I love the, the agile builds. They're so much fun. It's, I assume it's also more fun to watch. There we go. Another kill. Although not entirely ours. But, uh, so here we have a Kurfürst now. And I didn't have to take this guy on, but he's so far away that uh, it's just too tempting. Like he's sailing there, a big pile of HP, and at this distance there's very little chance that he'll hit me. So uh, I'll get in another 40, 50,000 damage here, just for the sake of it. Look at that, he got a confederate from me there. Terrible, didn't like that. So, it's only fair that he gives me one back, I think. So with uh, a minute left, we should just be able to squeeze one out of him, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. So like I say, at this distance, there's really not that much to fear from from the Kufrist. Uh, if you have an agile build, if you were in a in a <laughs> uh, a cruiser with the like Scott or something, I would probably be a little bit worried uh, if I didn't have an island. But that's the beauty of an agile build. You don't need islands. Actually, islands are just annoying and in the way, to be honest. So now we'll just slowly here 
wait for the time to run out and get as much damage out of this guy as we can before the, the timer reaches zero. Oh, it just stopped before the last cell. So we probably would have got 195 or something like that if that had hit. So yeah, like Wichita, it is uh, one tough cruiser. It really is. And uh, in the current uh, meta, with all these legendaries around, it's pretty much all I play at the moment. Except for Charles Martel and uh, the Germans, like I said earlier. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you on the battlefield.